Welcome to KUGS News. I'm your old friend Chen. If any of you have ever had such embarrassing things or feel uncomfortable when driving over the bridge, like the video shows us, why does it happen? Today we invite very famous geotechnic engineer, Professor Sarah, hope she can give us the answer. Hello, Sarah. Can you better explain this problem to us? Yes, thank you, Chen. So the bump in the road is actually caused by differential settlement at the end of the bridge near the interface between the abutment and the embankment. There are actually several reasons for this bump problem, for example, soil erosion or poor compaction of the backfill. But one of the most common reasons for this bump is actually seasonal temperature variations because it's a naturally occurring phenomenon. So regardless of the soil type or how well it's compacted, these temperature variations will still create this bump here. During the winter season, the bridge contracts with the lowering temperature, causing the abutment to move inward and away from the retained soil. In this case, an active earth pressure soil wedge develops with the soil slumping inward and downward. During the summer season, the bridge expands with increasing temperature, causing the abutment and retained soil to move outward. And because of the inelastic nature of soil, the abutment and now deformed soil may not move back to its original position. The combination of these seasonal changes can cause a net inward displacement, leaving a void between the slab and the soil. Over time, continued traffic loading can cause the slab to deform, leaving a bump at the end of the bridge. And this problem actually affects 25% of bridges in the United States, which is approximately 150,000 bridges. And that actually estimates to a maintenance cost of $100 million per year. Don't worry! Over the last several decades, engineers have started using geosynthetics to stabilize the backfill. This reinforcement actually prevents voids from developing under the slab. As a comparison, we constructed another model with geosynthetic reinforcement. As you can see in this video, the reinforcement can prevent the voids from developing under the slab even after several cycles of these temperature variations. Thanks to geosynthetics, the bump at the end of the bridge problem is solved. Thank you, Sarah. Now I can see people in the near future can drive smoothly with the help of our engineers. Don't, Don't let the bombs ruin, ruin your life. life. Oh. This is millimeters tall as wide.